if you experience shedding, excessive breakage, psoriasis, alopecia, bald patches, dandruff, you need this Ayurvedic hair growth spray. Please listen, do not use this hair spray if you don't want fast hair growth. Your hair may become too thick to handle. This spray encourages healthy hair growth and scalp stimulation. This spray prevents dandruff, breakage, excessive shedding. It heals inflamed scalp strengthen the hair follicles it thickens the hair prevents premature graying it regrows bald spots prevents hair thinning welcome to the channel my name is dima please ensure you watch this video to the end as to get all the instructions also remember to give this video a thumbs up before you leave to begin grab a jar like so make sure all apparatus to be used are well sterilized our first powerful ingredient is moringa you will agree with me that moringa is a very powerful plant moringa has a rich quantity of zinc vitamin a and iron which are essential for hair growth zinc keeps the oil gland in the scalp healthy and nourished this majorly maintains the scalp environment and makes the scalp apt for hair growth the method of applying moringa also plays an important role in enhancing its advantages moringa also is rich in amino acids which are building blocks of cells therefore this helps in rejuvenation of hair, thereby reducing alopecia. It activates the dormant hair follicles, thereby enhancing hair growth on the bald areas. It is also a rich source of biotin. Biotin enhances creation of RBCs, thereby increasing the oxygen supply to the scalp. This prevents hair loss by delaying the telogen phase of the hair and increasing the longevity of the hair cells. For the proportion, I used a tablespoon and half of the Moringa powder. Moving on, our second ingredient is cloves. We are making use of cloves buds. Please use the powder if that's what you have. Cloves contain high levels of antioxidants and nutrients that can add to the growth and strength of your hair. They can be used for protecting the scalp from dandruff, which is actually a major cause of weak and thin hair. Cloves also contain anti-inflammatory agents, which further help in hair thickening. It helps to reduce hair fall too. With the presence of vitamin K in cloves, there is better blood circulation, which stimulates hair to grow. It treats dandruff, flakes, and relieves the itching associated with it due to its anti-inflammatory properties. For the proportion, I measured out a tablespoon of cloves buds into the jar. Moving on to our third ingredient. I have hibiscus flowers. These are dried hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus is loaded with various beneficial ingredients that help to stop hair loss and prevent baldness. Loaded with vitamin C, flavonoids, amino acids, mucilage fiber, and antioxidants. The extracts of hibiscus leaves and flowers nourishes your hair, promotes hair growth, and provides a soft and silky texture. Hibiscus also have antibacterial potency that contributes to maintaining the good health of your hair and helps prevent dandruff. FYI, hibiscus can be staining, hence the reason why I use less of it in most of my hair teas. For the proportion, I'm making use of three dried flowers of hibiscus. The more the flowers, the more staining this tea could be if you want to use it as a tea rinse you can go ahead and make it even more concentrated but because i'm using it as a living i use less of the flowers moving on i poured about 500 ml worth of hot water into the jar make sure the water boils up to 100 degrees celsius that way is hot enough for the ingredients to infuse in it so you can get all the benefits embedded in these dried ingredients so i just poured about 500 ml worth of hot water into the jar and then stir to combine all the ingredients next i covered and allowed this to steep for 12 hours that way i'm not fermenting this so after 12 hours this is what i have i will go ahead and strain it using a bowl to collect my hair tea and a strainer 
to sieve this if you're the type who doesn't like particles in your hair make sure to use strainer and the one that the mesh is tight enough in order to trap all the particles that should have gotten into the hair tea so after straining i transfer that into my spray bottle with the help of a funnel that way i can spray it in my hair until i exhaust the content of the spray bottle for the storage please store in your refrigerator for five days after five days this goes rancid please discard and make a fresh batch it won't be as potent as it is on the fifth day if you keep it more than five days i hope you understand i'm using it as a living spray you can use this tea in three ways if you like you can use it as a living just as i'm using it on this video i spray it as a base for my moisture routine then i follow up with my leave-in conditioner or i just see with my hair growth oil this hair growth oil is shared on this channel please check the card that pops up at the end of the video so that you can see the video on how to make this hair growth oil the second method on how to use this hairspray is as a tea rinse that way you use it immediately after rinsing out your deep conditioner on wash tea the third method is as a pre pull base whereby you spray this as a base before coating your hair with oils this hairspray is super potent i'm going to repeat myself again please listen do not use this spray if you don't want fast hair growth your hair may become too thick to handle this trio ayurveda is amazing this spray encourages healthy hair growth and scalp stimulation this spray prevents dandruff breakage excessive shedding it heals inflamed scalp strengthens the hair follicles it also thickens the hair prevents premature green it regrows bald spots prevents hair thinning guys you don't need to miss out on this hairspray this spray is one of my favorite hairsprays to spray on my hair because of the powerful ingredients that works magic Result sets in after a month of consistent use guys do not sleep on this spray that brings me to the end of today's video thank you so so much for watching please before you leave ensure you give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and family also if you have any question for me regarding this recipe or regarding any other of recipe that i've shared on this channel kindly drop it in the comment section below before i forget if you want to use this on babies please use from two years upwards two years upwards can use this hair treatment thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next one bye